artificial sweeteners, artificial sugars, sucralose, that kind of thing. Um, anything that can hold water like that since we are three weeks out now. I take a caffeine pill because that is the only way I can get my caffeine in to be able to do my cardio and the Yohan bean as well. So I will show you guys that. So this is my caffeine, literally just caffeine in a tablet. So I take one of these, um, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Just wake me up a little bit before I do my cardio. I then bring water, so I'm just doing it without water. prep series so I want to keep everybody updated kind of use YouTube to keep it a little bit more personable yeah and be able to like see more about what prep is like what my specific prep is going like this will be my second season ever competing so last summer was my first time and I didn't know anything about bodybuilding even now I still have a lot to learn but I kind of went into it blindly I didn't really know what to expect or what prep was like like I didn't know how strict everything was so I know that was a big shock last time I remember in the middle of prep just hating it I was like why did I do this to myself? I was like, I have to finish it. Like I'm already halfway through. So I was like, oh, I'm never gonna do this again. Like I hate this so much. And then I stepped on stage and I was like, yeah, this is the best thing ever. I loved it. I feel like I grew a lot through this sport as a person. So then I decided I wanted to do it again. When I started working at Reinvent You, they hired me and I became a personal trainer there. And I met these great people. The two owners of the gym have been helping me with social media and bodybuilding. And one of the owners, Adam, is my coach, as well as Nick, the head trainer there. So they're putting me through a prep, which has been great. It's been so nice to have in-person coaches and people that are hard on me. They give it to me straight and they're always there to support me with anything. That's been going super, super well. So much better than last prep. Just I'm in a better space mentally more motivated and i have a bigger better support system i'm super excited for the show i feel like it's gonna be just completely night and day different than it was last show not that anything about last prep was bad but this prep i feel like i'm in it 100 percent. my mentality is there i know what to expect and i'm giving it my all i'm excited to see the difference from this year compared to last year so it was a little bit of a longer prep so it's 18 weeks to my first show which is on june 3rd we're doing the NPC Miami Muscle Beach competition. That'll be the regional show that I compete at. And Reinvent You is actually sponsoring that show. So we'll have a booth. I'm going to have everybody there. So it'll be great. It's just been a great experience. A lot of great people. Nick, my other coach, is also competing in that show. I'm really hoping that we both do super well. And then two weeks after, we're going to go to Junior Nationals for the national show. And that's in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I believe June 17th. It's two weeks after my regional show. 
So we'll do that show and then we'll jump right back into prep. That'll be my first ever national show. First time taking this seriously. Last year was more of learning about what it was. At that point, I was just like, okay, I just want to make it to the stage. You know, I didn't really have, oh, I want to win in my mind. And this time I want to take it as far as I can. So we're pushing hard this prep, definitely tougher. But yeah, I'm just excited to see what's to come. So now we are three weeks out from my regional show, five weeks out from junior nationals, but we're just taking one show at a time. So. Just think about three weeks out from that. Um, I just gotta get my conditioning more. We're doing two sessions of cardio a day, so 60 minutes total. Pushing hard with the training, trying to preserve as much muscle as I can. So I've been dieting for around 15 weeks now. So we're in the depths of it, but I eat six times a day. The calories are low, the carbs are low, just to deplete my body and really get that weight down, get the fat down, and just get that conditioned look. It hasn't been too bad because I eat every like two and a half hours, so I don't usually feel too hungry. When my metabolism is on fire, I, I will be hungry as I'm eating the meal. Right now, it's been pretty good with that. So we have three weeks more to push and just get as conditioned as I can and bring my best package. I didn't do a check-in this morning. Since we are under four weeks out, I'm doing check-ins every other day. So I'll wake up fasted, I will do my posing and send over all my check-ins to Nick and Adam. And I will send over all the questions about like my digestion, sleep, how that's all going, how I'm feeling, how I'm looking, and making the adjustments needed to my diet, to my cardio plan. Everything is written out for me. I don't think about anything, I just do it. They tell me what to do and it gets done. So I'll include those check-in pictures and show you what we're looking like at a little under three weeks out. Again, just I gotta work on my conditioning. I hold my body fat in my lower body and a little bit in my stomach. So if I can get that conditioning down in my legs will be in a really good spot but that's been a little bit stubborn that fat doesn't want to leave so we've been pushing harder to try and get that condition look i woke up this morning i was i believe 121.8 like i said i had a higher carb day three four days ago just so that my body doesn't stall so that we can keep that momentum going if you keep dieting like that and you keep depleting like that your body's gonna stall and you can stop losing weight and your metabolism can slow so every once in a while we'll do a higher carb day just to kind of restore those glycogen stores so that we can deplete again my lowest weight of prep was right before the high carb day it was like 119 point something we're getting back down still losing a little bit of weight every day pushing hard we use those carbs my lifts were a lot uh, more intense just moving those carbs around to fill out my muscles. Nick, every time I start to lose that look, every time that starts to fade, he's gonna give me a higher carb day just so that we can preserve that while still staying conditioned. And then we're back down to low days like normal. And I'll show you guys what I eat in a day. Yeah, I'm just excited to see how this show goes. We're almost there. Light at the end of the tunnel, I can see it finally. So it's getting exciting. Right now, I'm sitting in bed doing some editing. Like I said, trying to kick my feet up as much as I can. But yesterday, I filmed a lot of my day. I'm new to a lot of like the content creation stuff, so it's been really fun. Getting started with all of that and figuring everything out. Yeah, so yesterday, I just kind of filmed some little clips throughout my day. I'm gonna make a few Instagram reels. So I'll probably do a video on day in my life at three weeks out. And I've always been into video editing. It's really fun to get back into it. I haven't done stuff like this since literally freshman year of high school. So, but yeah, so I'll show you guys what I'm working working on so right now i'm just editing these i'm just putting my clips together yeah so just working on that i'm gonna put some posing basically what i do in a day just a shorter version so i'm taking a little break from working on all the content stuff uh it's time to eat again so i'm gonna show you meal two in a couple hours i will eat my pre-meal and then we're gonna go and hit upper body well that's microwaving i'd say every two days I prep all my proteins, all my carbs, all my fats, all that stuff. So all I do is I prep a bunch of rice and I put it in one of these containers. And then I prep my tilapia, I prep my ground beef, and my asparagus and my green beans. So all I have to do is pull it out, throw it in the meal prep container. Meal two is 90 grams of rice, 105 grams of tilapia, 8 grams of almond butter, and 50 grams of asparagus. So I just throw some garlic salt on the asparagus and throw everything in the microwave, eat it, and it's nice and easy that way. So that's how I do pretty much all my meals. So I just throw my almond butter on there. So many people are like, why do you put almond butter on it? How does that taste good? I'm like, okay. At this point, we're not eating for taste. That is what prep is. We eat just to fuel my body. Whatever's easily digestible, it's nice and natural. So that's just my fat source. But honestly, at this point, it's enjoyable. You get used to it, you get prep taste buds, so. I'm just gonna throw some almond butter on there and then whip it up and I'm gonna eat, so yay. I'm 
I'm about to eat my pre-meal, but I'm like finishing up this reel and I really like it so far. It makes me so happy, so I'm so excited that I'm doing it again. But here, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Yeah. I am planning on posting that as a reel, so go check that out on my Instagram. Go follow it while you're at it. I post a lot of stuff on there. It's more of like my physique updates, coaching, things like that. And I interact with a lot of my followers on there, so if you want to get to know me more, you can follow my journey there. So I just put together, this is meal four, which is my pre-meal. Third meal of the day, but we call it meal four because all my meals go around my training. So a little bit higher carb. We have 90 grams of jasmine rice, 120 grams of 96% lean beef, and then 75 grams of asparagus. It looks so good. I know that's just prep talking, but it's honestly concerning that I look forward to asparagus now. I'm so hungry all the time that food itself is just good. Yeah, it looks sad, but to me, it's so exciting. I'm so excited to eat this food. So I eat my pre-meal and then about an hour after I'll lift. So like I said, today we have upper body. So here we go. It is almost um, 4 p.m. So I'm gonna get ready to go lift all the upper body groups are on one day now just because of prep i don't hit chest anymore because there's just really not a reason to on prep for bikini it's just not part of the criteria there's not a point to on my upper body days we do a lot of delts we do back and then arms so that's what we're gonna hit today i love upper body days lower body days just take it all out of me which is nice i'm so a low energy that like when an upper body day comes around i'm like oh thank god because it's kind of rare i changed into this ultimate fit sports bra super cute Use my code. I love that brand. I wear them every single day. You guys know. So let's get it. Go eat that mirror flex. Delts coming in. So I am in the parking lot of the gym right now. I just got here. I didn't take any pre-workout today. I've been trying to limit my overall use of stimulants and caffeine and just limit it to when my body really needs it. So I found recently my body needs it more when I'm doing fasted cardio, when I don't have any carbs in my system. And I'm really tired and it's the beginning of the day and I don't have a meal in me. On a day like today when I feel like I can get through the workout without an added stimulant, I just opt to not use one because at this point my body really needs the rest. So today we're just gonna do the workout, coast off of those little bit of carbs that I had in the pre-workout meals. So let's get into this lift. Let's hit some up. On my way home, I have to stop and get gas because I'm literally the worst about getting gas. Look, I'm literally like off-roading. What happens? Ugh. Jesus, okay. Like, I am not kidding. I literally wait until it is all the way empty. So I just got back from the gym. It was a really good lift, actually. I feel like I got a good pump. It probably went away because my pump lasts two seconds now because my carbs are so low. But that's okay. Focus on the positives, right? But anyways, it was a good lift. Upper body is always fun. That's my favorite. I love shoulders, love back. 
don't love arms, but it's better than legs. Coming back, I'm gonna have my post meal. So I'm going to prep my ground beef. So pre and post meal is the same. Ground beef, rice, almond butter, asparagus. If that's something you guys would be interested in, I'll probably do a how I prep all my meals because I feel like that's a whole other process that I'll have to get into. Let me know if you guys wanna see that and I'll do like how I do my meal prep and show you guys how I make all my meals and everything. Super simple. I like to just keep it easy, keep it as quick as possible. Be as time efficient as I can so everything is nice and easy so i'm gonna prep that beef and we're gonna eat the post meal today's kind of a slow day for me which has been super nice again no training clients i haven't been doing class because it's in between semesters we're gonna go back to the gym later for my second cardio session and then i've just been working on content all day so that's kind of nice give me a little break yeah so that's pretty much all i have is eat and do my second cardio so let's get on with it We've got meal five, this is my post meal. That 96% lean beef with the jasmine rice and the asparagus. So I headed back to the gym. I'm in the parking lot now. I'm gonna do my second session of cardio, another 30 minutes. So my coaches have me doing two sessions of 30 minutes. My first one is fasted in the morning. And then my second one, I've been doing right before I go to bed. So we're doing that today. It's just helping with digestion, makes the weight on the scale in the morning a little bit lower. Um, I was behind on my meals today. I had a late start to the day, so I'm running a little bit behind, but it is 10.30 now, and they do my cardio. Go back, have meal six, which is not ideal, but I'm getting all the meals in. So let's get inside. Let's get this second session of cardio. So I just finished cardio, I'm all sweaty and gross. That was tough, <laughs> but we made it through. So now I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna have my last meal of the day. That'll be meal six, which is 120 grams of tilapia, 50 grams of green beans, and eight grams of almond butter. So I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna wake up and do it all again tomorrow. So tomorrow we have fasted cardio, I'm gonna train a few clients, get my lift in with Adam tomorrow. It'll be glutes and hammies. So pray for me on that one. <laughs> I had so much fun filming this video today. I've always wanted to do a prep series, so I'm so excited to see it finally come to life and keep you guys updated with everything. So I still have three weeks to go. Still have quite a bit of time to push, but I'm excited to take you guys along with me on the journey, show you guys the highs, the lows, everything. Keep you guys updated on how my prep is going, have it documented. But if you guys want to see more of what I'm doing on the daily when I'm not posting on YouTube, you can go and check out my Instagram. I'm pretty active on there with my stories. So if you want to see more of me and what I'm doing every day, you can check me out on there. But yeah, I had a ton of fun and I will see you guys in the next episode.